guys welcome back to Enigma Review so this is something that I've not done in my bedroom before but we're going to give it a try so if you remember I used to do a lot of my makeup looks in my studio at my desk and as you know that desk has long gone and my studio has long gone but I do have my dresser which was inherited from uh, Ben's grandma so and I do spend a lot of time at this dresser there's normally a French mirror here I've took this down so I can put my camera there and basically you can see me so I'm going to be using two different types of mirrors today including my faithful mirror that I use every day so today guys we're going to be doing the Laura Geller testing now I did promise that I would do this it is the next day it is now bank holiday Monday I did film the actual haul yesterday which was the Sunday so I didn't film that night it got very dark in here and it just gets harder to light up a room I mean I do have two ring lights here three ring lights actually and one that's going to be coming soon so I thought while it's light outside and I've got some natural light coming in and I've got my ring light here you might be able to see pretty well I hope what I may do guys is is do the old faithful do one eye on camera one eye off if it makes things easier but we are actually testing today so with that said we're going to get on with the testing using every Laura Geller item that I have got in front of me but I will have to use some other branded items because I don't have a whole face of Laura Geller but I've got I've got enough let's put it that way I've got enough I have gone and washed my brushes they do still feel a little damp, but they should dry in no time. This is just one of God knows how many brushes I've got. But these are the, my, what I call my favourite brushes. Right, I've also got some lashes. I don't know if I'll be bothering putting them on. I've not been to bed, guys, so I am very, very tired. So I don't know if putting eyelashes on would be a good idea. I do have my magnetic ones, if need be, just for the, the look, I may use them ones. Right, with that said, let's get stuck in. Right. As I said in the video yesterday, or whenever you saw that video, maybe last week, um, I was talking about The Ordinary. I use this as a primer. It is a primer. And this is what I do, guys. I don't use the pet, although you're supposed to. It just doesn't seem to work like that for me. And I just put a tiny bit, and then I just moisturize that into my skin it is lovely this primer guys i have to tell you it is really really good um i will go back and i'll get some more of this and i will get this smash box and i want the ciate the melon one so i am going to treat myself to a few high-end items this year um now i have broke out guys today woohoo I don't know if that's because I've just had no sleep or I've been bitten by one of them stupid midgy flies. It doesn't feel like a spot spot. It feels like I've been bitten. So maybe, but we'll cover that up today. Let's see if we can cover that. It actually came a good day, actually, guys. Let's see if this um, foundation covers that up. <laughs> and it's the Camouflage Essence Matte Concealer. Now, I have got oily skin at the minute so i am reaching for more my matte products like i said i just put it looks like i put a lot on there guys but i spread that all over my eye socket now i've got no eyebrows if you probably noticed i shaved my eyebrows off um probably about two months ago they grew back a little bit and then i shaved them again and as you can see they are growing back again so i'm going to leave them to see if they grow back at an even pace if they don't i'll be whapping them back off again this is just where i put my concealer because it highlights the area that i find i want to cover the most normal sponge it's not wet it's just a dry sponge and then we'll just blend it in so guys um my pieces look a bit odd at the minute i am waiting to go into the main town and going to the actual shop that sells all the piercings. I want to get um, a ring, but I've decided I might go and see my friend Vicky when I get back 
to Rochdale and I might go and get my other side of my lip pierced um why not I can't have my I can't have my nose done because of I have a deviant septum so I might as well just try and figure out something else now I was going to fast forward most of this guys so if I do fast forward I will stop talking because otherwise you will just hear me jabbering on in fast motion now I've never used this concealer before guys so I will give you my opinion on it as we're going on at the minute I'm not really liking it too much it's not giving me the coverage that I was getting off the ordinary concealer um so yeah i don't feel like it's giving me that highlighted area it's quite subtle to say that i picked the lightest of the light like that was the lightest one in that brand maybe because i'm just so used to using such a light light concealer but i thought that would have been lighter than the one that i use now obviously i've been using um the ordinary and i've also been using this w7 hd really really good i will buy more of that the collection i've thrown away because i've used it all now and obviously my bit left i might have to go on top with my ordinary i just don't i don't know maybe it's just because i'm looking in this mirror instead of my mirror that's only in front of me. yeah I will just go in a little bit under the eyes with the ordinary because it is a lot lighter. Now watch how the ordinary, the difference between the two. Can you see? It's just, it gives me that really lighter look and it kind of covers my dark under eye which i absolutely hate but guys i don't sleep very well and when i do sleep well i sleep too much i'm, I'm in a balance of one or the other um so it's just the base guys now you don't have to put a concealer on first with the laura regella foundation you could put that on first and then put a concealer on after but what i find is putting um liquid on powder makes it go a bit funny so i tend to put the concealer on first and then the powder on top because that seals it in better essence not overly keen i may order the ordinary again actually guys to be honest with you right brush I'm just going to use my usual brush, which is my Unicorn Cosmetics. Now, I'm not going to get mixed up. Here we're going to go in now with the Laura Geller. And this one is the um, Brighton Foundation, as this one is the Glow. So let's just give it a good old swirl. And then start on your forehead, guys. Or wherever you want. I just tend to start on my forehead. And then just take it down into the socket. Okay guys, so you can put as much as you want to put on there if you want to layer it. That for me is adequate enough. And if you can see, it's not sticking into my fine lines like some powders would. It's sitting quite nicely on the skin. Yes, I know my neck looks weird because it's a different shade. But if you wanted to mix it in which i do normally guys i will do my whole neck but i'm just doing reference today so that will do you probably won't even notice so when you feel that it's all in 
yeah, I've got to tell you guys, it feels nice and soft on your skin, nice and smooth. It doesn't feel rough or, you know, powdery or caked on or anything. Can you see? I'm happy with that. That's my, that's my layer. There you go. And that's it guys for your foundation. Less time, less mess. If you don't want to use a brush, you can actually use your sponge and just, there you go. So you can either use a powder brush or you can use your sponge. So that is my base completely finished. For me now, it will be my next stage, which will be my Claritude. I've been using this guys for two and a half years and I've hit pan on it. Absolutely love this. I'm not too sure if they will still have this now at the, uh, I think it was one below, which was like the, the new pound shop. I'm not too sure if they've got that there now, but I wouldn't mind having a look. So guys, I'm going to start at the tail end. I'm going to work my way down, down to a point. And then once I've done that, I take it across like so and then just follow that round can you see now obviously I will darken that in I'm just going to go for an, a, a quite a thin look today and then same on the other side and then across Don't forget guys, eyebrows, they are sisters, not twins, which is what a lot of people say. Right, I'm just going to bring that a little bit over. Okay, so that for me is enough. So I only use this powder guys, I don't use anything else. It's adequate enough for me. Now, that seems to me like it's even. I always go like this. And if they join up there, then I know that they're even. Or even-ish. There we go. So, what I do now, guys, is I'll just go in darker around here and down the tail. And just follow that round. And same on the other side. Down the tail. And then around. And then I will tend to go under it now with my brush and I put my little bit of concealer on there. I'm going to try the camouflage because it's not that pale than I thought, but it'll be great just to do the neating up of the eyebrows. So I just go underneath it then guys. So then just bring that down into a point, can you see? All the way down, and then just follow that around. Now what I will do with the excess bit there is blend that in with the sponge. But then I'm gonna go down and across here. Now if you want to shade out your eyebrow at the, at the front, I tend to just smudge it with the, what we call it, the mascara brush end. You see, and then just level that out and take it down and up. Sisters, not twins. I don't think I did too bad. I'm kind of used to doing my eyebrows now. It's just, it just comes natural. Right, so obviously this is the my base now done. What would you move on to next? I personally would, would start doing the eyes now because if I do get fallout, at least I can just brush that off and just put a bit of layer of powder on there. If I'm gonna start putting highlighter and blusher on. I'm gonna have to start reapplying that as well. So let's get stuck in to this palette. Yes, I am dying to try this palette out. What colours am I going to do, guys? I really don't know. But these are the shades. 
candied pistachio guys it's my like a pink shade but it'll look nice as a base right let's test this out now tap and then we're just gonna go over the lid and just bring it all the way up but not right up to the brow um also guys i was going to say something else now what was i just going to say to you guys now you can put tape on if you want to guys to create your tick but i've been doing this for so long now i don't really use tape i don't need to i just know where i'm going with the brush um right guys so i'm just bringing it all the way all the way above the lid and then just taking it all the way to the end of the eyebrow tail so that'll give you a an estimation or a judgment on where to go and then just follow it all the way up but you don't want to go right to the top of the bro 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 bone brow bone <laughs> so we're just going to do one one side on camera guys we'll do the other off camera just to save time so as you can see and i'm using um a morphe brush and i call this more your your thicker brush i don't know the name of these brushes guys because they've not got the name on them but so i'm just going to take it all the way into the crease now so it sits on the eyelid now not a much fallout just one little tap it is quite a nice pigment guys to say it's a very light color it is leaving a really nice pigmentation on there i think this is going to be more of a natural look we're going for today guys more of a neutral natural look but i'm down with that i used to always just wear real neutral browns and beiges and blacks um, i used to just have my eyes smoky all the time right so i think that'll do for my base i'm quite happy with that i always keep this brush aside so i know what i started with so i don't start mixing brushes up now i'm gonna go with a, a my three tone and i'll take it slightly up above the crease just because i have got as you can see very hooded eyes and the older i get the more hooded my eyes get it's quite frustrating but what can you do old age catches up with you but i think i am aging gracefully so i can't complain four children i've got a, a husband who's seven years younger than me <laughs> and you know i've i've got my mum and dad's really good looking jeans where they don't look that old for their age so i was blessed in something if not anything <laughs> right so i'm just picking out a brush now just to, to see where i'm gonna go so i'm gonna go with a darker a medium and a light tone i've always done it that way guys and i'll never change that that's just how i do it now if i'm gonna go with a dark tone i'm gonna go in with the dark tone first and i think i'm gonna go in with this darkest shimmer here in the corner and it says dark truffle it's like a really dark goldy brown why not why not let's give it a go now it does say if your brushes are wet this is wet this brush it's not mega wet but it's wet enough for it to oh right so i'm just mapping out first guys where i'm gonna go with this and this is where i'll map here and i always go under with the outer that's just something i do as well you can go under with whatever you want but i go under with whatever is here um i'm not sure this brush is the kind of brush i need but we'll see so i'm just going to take it across I'm just going to go under slightly just so I can carry on mapping out where I'm going. There is some fallout from this shade but I don't know if it's the brush I'm using 
it's not a soft brush it's quite a hard brush but i tend to use these brushes to apply on the lid because they're flat but they're not good when i want to go up here and they're not good for um shading or blending so i'm just going to take that in like that put that aside for now because i'll use that on the other side to do that one right i'm going to go with more of a they are so wet. I think that's my issue. My brushes are wet. I'm going to go and try one of my new brushes, which is a magnetic brush, which is here. I'm going to try this and just see if that makes a difference. It does. It must be because the brush is wet. Right, I'm just going to... That's better. Just spread that out, guys, to the middle because it doesn't matter. You're going to go over that anyway. So can you see how I've got this here now? So I know to carry on underneath there. Right, so I'm going to go with a, um, the colour next to it, which is Trail Mix. don't know what kind of um, treat that is. It might be, have something to do with my brushes being wet. Maybe they're just too wet for the application. Should have waited till they were dry, really. So I'm just going to take this into the middle, guys. So I'm using more shimmers than I am the matte shades just because I do like the shimmers in this palette more than I do the mattes and I'm curious. I do like that. So guys, my neck's cracking. I need to be careful the way I'm holding my neck up. Okay, so where did I go now? Right. I said this one, didn't I? So I'm just going to go back into this one and just darken it back out again. I just don't think it's punching it out because of the brush. That's better. So I am just working with this palette, guys. I'm not like getting another palette out or added a black to it or anything. It's this palette and this palette only. Okay, there is some fallout guys, but I will address that later. Right, so now I'm going to go on the inner with a lighter shade. Keep that over there so I know where it is. And I'm going to go with another shimmer because I just think that this palette is just spoiled for shimmers. But my brushes are deadly wet. <sighs> right, we're just going to have to go with it. I'm going to go in with this one, which is Roasted Pecan. And it's the lightest shimmer mm. I'm not really picking up is these goddamn brushes right I'm going to try a flat brush see if that makes any difference right that might be better right so I'm just going to take it in now so I'm taking it to the inner join up with the middle and then I'm taking it up and joining this one because I will blend the three above the hood the crease I will blend them together and we'll still keep the three tone look on the eyelid if that makes sense so we're not going to blend the eyelid we're just going to blend the top okay so that's not too bad um, I do think next time I use this palette, I will make sure that my brushes have been washed a few days beforehand and they're dry and not wet because I literally washed them about 30 minutes ago, guys, so they're not dry yet. But that, that's nice. Okay, I like that. So I've, I've left that space for the brow balm because I will highlight that anyway. But... I'm happy with that. I'm going to blend in by using my blendy brush. Here it is. If it lets me have it, it's stuck on the magnet. So I'm just going to just blend the three in, but leave the lid 
just gently blend it in guys not too much because I don't want to be having to go over it again so I am going to go for a really light shade on the inner here but I'm just going to go under now with the outer with a tiny little fine brush and just take that right underneath the waterline and then just blend that out under the eye now this brush is dry and it seems to be applying better with this dry brush you're probably all right with a, a damp brush but not a wet brush they are really wet now that looks all right can you see so it's connecting with this and obviously my tick will be there anyway so if you do want to darken that area right you can go in again with this and this and this and then just blend it out now i'm just going to go in 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 with the lightest shimmer of all which is coconut cluster now my brush is really really wet it might not stick to this as well Ugh. right so i'm just going to go in and then just lighten up so it just makes the eyes pop i to take that slightly under to join the brown underline that you've done in the waterline or should I say not in the waterline but up near the waterline okay okay guys so that's where we're at so far I'm going to go off camera and do the other eye come back and we'll get started on um probably the blusher because we need to test the blusher and the highlighter and then we'll go in for the rest of the stuff back in a jiffy guys okay guys so i've literally just underlined in the waterline on this eye this is just a essence pen and then i'm just going to go in the lid guys up the upper lid and just go along the inside of the lid if you can't do it with your eyes open do it with your eyes closed slightly closed like so try not to talk your eyes too much when you do that guys my mum always taught me as a kid never pull your eyelid down or stretch them that way she says because that's what gives you fine lines well I think I listened to my mum. Um, I don't think I've, I've done too bad when it comes to lines. <laughs> I don't think anyway. Right, I'm just going to go in here a little bit and then in here. Right, okay. So I'm happy with that now. Obviously now we're going to move in to the eyeliner at the top. So this is what the pen looks like. Now I've had this for a while now guys. It is starting to get a little bit wispy. But I love it. So I'm just going to show you. Try not to do it on the side. That's all sticking up. So just start in the middle and work your way down. And then go all the way. Can you see? And then just follow that around. And because I've got hooded eyes, I tend to do my tick from the end of my eye here can you see and then just paint it across there again and then from the corner i'm going to chase it up you see and then i'm just gonna close my lid and just go a little bit thicker here ah my pen is gone funny there we go and then Follow it down guys and then under like so can you see now my pen is it's not running out but the wisps I'm gonna have to cut that guys because it is actually sticking in my eye and it just makes it harder right we just see where the light is you see now you could go all the way in if you wanted to 
it makes my eyes look smaller when I do that and I don't like it. Now, I've messed up on that one guys, I've gone too thick. What to do in a crisis of no cotton buds? Then, what I need to do then is curl your eyelashes. Just wait for your eyeliner to dry first because you don't want to be smudging it. But this one's definitely dry. I'm just going to go with this Essence Princess Lash just to give them a little bit of a lift. As you can see, they're lifting quite well. I mean, guys, I don't always wear eyelashes because I, I think my eyelashes are quite long enough. Okay, so that's adequate enough. Right, palette, so far so good. I like it. Right, we're gonna go in with this blusher now, which is what we had a look at when I did the video the other day. I'm just gonna try it first on my new brush here because the brush that I normally use is my Nancy brush, and as you can see, it's well worn, but I don't want any blusher on that to connect with this. So I'm just going to try this first and see what it's like. Right, are we ready? I hope it's not too, too rosy. Oh, guys. Oh. That is rather flattering. Oh. I like that. It's it's not that bad actually, guys. It's quite subtle. Oh, can you see? Right, and I've not got much on it, guys. I've literally just give it a quick swirl, quick tap. I think I may have a new favourite blusher and I have got like 40 blushes. <laughs> so what I'll do now, now I've blended it with that, then I will go in with my Nancy and just pull that across my cheekbones. I don't contour my face, I do not bronze my face, I don't like it, I don't want to, I never have done. So, I've always worn blusher and highlighter. Right, I think that looks all right. If you, if you do it and you think it looks too pinky, just get your sponge and just go over it and it'll just tone it down just a little bit like so. Okay, happy with that? Right, I'm happy with that. That passed, my, my that passed anyway. Now, this is what, we're still getting a really nice base. What I might just do now, guys, is just go over the um, forehead with my foundation and then just, there we go. So we're nearly finished, guys. I think next is highlighter. Now, I'm just gonna try it, because this is actually, a foundation but I'm just going to try it and see if it acts like a highlighter mm. it, it is 
It actually is, but it's not, it's not the highlighting shade that I want. So I will keep that as a foundation. So never mind. But with that in mind, I do want to use a gold highlighter because I'm wearing browns and golds. I'd rather not wear a white or a pink. So I'm going to go with this gold highlighter from um, Revolution. I've probably used this twice because I'm not, I don't really reach for my gold highlighter too much. But yeah, that is banging. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. You don't have to use brush like this. You can use the the brush that I normally use, but okay guys, sorry about that. My camera died, so I had to disappear for a little while. Now, while I was gone, as you can see, I did the eyelashes and they were easy. I don't know what I've been panicking about. It was so easy. Like I got them on first attempt. Um, what I've actually done though, guys, once they were on and they settled and they dried, I lifted them up and then I I cut diagonal inside because I do not like when the hair is touching the um, side of your nose. It really irritates me. Okay, guys, so what's left to do now is, um, don't forget that's the NYX Epic Eyeliner. Best pen ever. Now, while I'm just letting that eyeliner dry, I am going to go over it with my KVD Go Big or Go Home. Obviously, I did my own lashes with the Princess Lash. I normally use the combination of two anyway. I find that this is really lifts my lashes up. I love it. And the this one curls my lashes. So that's why I like the curved wand. I'm just going to line my lips with this really light beigey brown just um, before I put the lipstick on. Now, I wanna got very petite lips, guys, so I tend to outline mine a little bit thicker. So I go under, Guess as long as I'm going to get my lips. We've got a cup of tea waiting for me here, but it's a bit hot at the minute. All right, I'm going to go with the mascara, go big, go home now, just to give them that lift. Now they're dry. Can you see? It just lifts them up out of my eyes, out of my face. I did like these eyelashes. They were only, I think they were only 99p. And they're the Lash Fix Colour Secrets. I can't quite remember where I got them from, guys, to be honest with you. I've had them a while, I know that much. My eyelashes on my wedding day, guys, they looked amazing. But through the tears, through the speeches, through the laughs, I was just in stitches laughing. And next minute, people's coming around taking pictures and they were laughing. I was like, what's laughing at? They're laughing at me or with me. And then I noticed that my eyelash was down here. <laughs> my eyelash was down here. And the lady who put it on for me, Kelly, she was just laughing her head off and she was just like, <laughs> right guys, there we go guys. So lipstick, spray, and let's, let's wrap this up and talk about it. It's gonna be a long video guys, but you know, it's been such a long time since I've done my makeup on camera. All my KVDs in this bag. Um, I'm trying to keep that separate from everything else. I used Avon for the lip liner. Right, let's finish this off with the Laura Geller Lip Balm Lipstick. Let's see what it feels like. Oh, that's perfect match that as well, guys. Ah! 
Oh, that's nice and moisturising, guys, on your lips. Oh, that's lovely. I'm not sure if the, the lipstick's actually going with the, the actual makeup. I do like the Laura Gell lipstick. It's fine, it's beautiful, it's nice, but I don't know. I just don't feel like it goes with this. You might be disagreeing with that right now and say, no, it really does, but we're going to go with it. All right, okay. So this is a map. All uh, Jolly Beauty's lipsticks are matte based, but they dry beautifully. I put Jolly Beauty's lipsticks on par with um, KVD and um, Jeffree Stars. I sometimes think Jeffree Stars lipsticks really hard to get off. I don't know if you've noticed that as well. It kind of stains your lips. I like it. I think that lipstick is better. It's made it go a little bit darker because of, of the base colour of it. But it's actually quite lighter than this usually, guys. I don't know why I had that mirror in my hand when I've got my other mirror. Let me just have a look. It's starting to dry out already. But yeah, I like that. I like it. Right, before I wrap this up, I am just going to give it a good swish with the other foundation the, the the lighter one just to see just to see guys i'm just curious i'm just going to put it across my forehead oh right okay right okay so it's it's more of a shiny if you like to have shiny shiny head then that would be brilliant for you. I think I may just try and just use that as a highlighter, guys. I don't like being too shiny. I'm just going to matte that back out again. Um, just because I don't, I don't, I like putting a little bit of highlighter on my forehead, but not the whole bloody forehead. That's a bit too much. Um, fixing spray, I'm using the Wet n Wild Face Mist. I've nearly used all this and I've not even tested the Wet n Wild palettes yet. Whoo! Hoo 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 hoo. Hoo 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 hoo. Whoo! Well, that cooled me down. There you go, guys. That is my finished look. Let me just pull my fringe down. Now I've finished. And why not? get a bit of a her accessory put that in there and voila there we go guys me done for the day tested signed approved delivered how do i feel 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Oh, we need some perfume. What perfume are we gonna put on? We just need a little bit of, we'll put a little bit of Dolce & Gabbana on today. I have got a few Dolce & Gabbanas. I've got the only one as well. And I've got the blue one somewhere. Right, there we go. Completely finished guys. Right, my um, end thoughts. So from start to finish, I, I, I didn't really, I wasn't overly keen on the camouflage. Um, although when I tested it on my tattoo yesterday, it did cover really nicely, but I just didn't feel, I just didn't feel like it gave me that, that lighter under eye that I was looking for. And I think it's because I'm just so used to using the ordinary and the collection one. I will probably get used to it guys, given time. So I will keep using that, I won't give up on it because if I do, I won't end up losing it. So I'll keep going with that. Um, but yeah, obviously my Claritude, I've always rated it, I always like it. Eyeliner and eye pencil pass brilliantly. Um, Laura Geller, I didn't have any troubles with anything. The only thing I was struggling with a little bit was my brushes being too wet. Now, it does say that you can use these um, wet because it brings out more of a shimmer. Now, I'll, I will take, let you into a little secret while I was off camera. I actually got my baby finger and I just give it a rub and I went in both sides with both fingers and then I did the same for the middle and it just, it just 
punched out a little bit more of the shimmer. I think with the mattes, not so good, but um, I always used to use fingers um, doing makeup when I was younger and then all of a sudden we had to use sponges and brushes. So for me, that's something I've always been used to, but it just seems to pack out that, that pigment, that colour a bit more. Now, I didn't take all my look right up to the brow bone. As you know, I left it so I could highlight the eyebrows and I obviously highlighted it with this, which was the Revolution highlighter, which is really, really nice. I am loving the gold. I feel like an Egyptian. <laughs> Walk like an Egyptian. So there you go, guys. Obviously, for my primer, I use the Ordinary. Um, everything that I've used today, 10 out of 10. There was nothing that I faulted. The Laura Geller lipstick is beautiful, but I think it'd look better with more of a, a ready brick tone look rather than a brown look. This perfect definitely that definitely contrasts the color you may think differently pop your comment on below and tell me what you think did you think that the laura killer perf um lipstick was all right or do you think i picked well by using this one tell me what you think but laura Geller, the delectables palette and all the blusher and the everything thumbs up no qualms no 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 backlash even the eyelashes are amazing guys yeah um i had a phobia of eyelashes i think i may have conquered my phobia and i didn't use my duo glue i used this glue i will go ahead and buy the duo glue in black i will order it online from just my look and um i'm gonna go and order some more lashes i actually thought i think i bought these from just my look now i'm thinking about it all right guys take care if you want to see the other palettes that i have bought previously in videos if you want to see them tested the only ones i have done up to now is the huda booty and i did the ve cosmetic one but if you want to see all them palettes come out to play let me know in the comments box below i don't really want to start pushing my channel to beauty i do not want to go back into the beauty community no offense i just want to stay in the alternative community but today i had to just create a look based on me as an alternative person and i think this is more of a, a natural goth look tell me what you think all right guys take care of yourself and i'll see you on the next one bye for now oh and before i wrap this up Thank you, Aisha. I hope you enjoy your palettes. All right, take care. Mwah. Bye, everybody. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and hit that like button if you like this video, because it helps me out and my channel. Take care guys, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.